Now put in the current date. So click the red dot here, just hit enter there. Okay, now go down to the date into A10. Now put the date in. Okay. And put in the current time. Okay, and then go to B2 and click insert time again. Okay, so that took you 23 seconds, it looks like. Yep. Okay, so that's pretty fast, right? It's first time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, let's go to the next tab. Okay, now start the insert time again. Okay, go down to the date and then do a control uh, semicolon. Okay, tab over, do a control shift semicolon. Okay, go back up to B2. Yeah, now click B2. <laughs> so that took you 21 seconds. 21 seconds. So is that, that's not faster, is it? Well, we'll look. Okay, so let's go to the next tab. So this is something you would do, and let's make that smaller for you so you can see the whole thing. So you're in A2, so click the time, and then add the formula to calculate gross profit for all the stores there. This is the first time I've seen this, so I, I really don't uh, have a sense for it, what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Okay, now go up to end before. Click insert time. So less than a minute, that's 44 seconds. Okay, let's try it one more one more time. Go to the next page. Okay, and then let's make this a little smaller. Okay, so go ahead and start the time. Go down to gross profit. And then equal. Just type in equal. Click on B9. Minus. Okay. And then copy it down. And then what? Copy. Yeah, just do that, right? Yeah. Twenty nine seconds. Twenty nine seconds. Yeah. It'd be good okay. to have uh, insert time in column D, and then column C have the difference, be so that I, could, I wouldn't have to calculate it mentally, the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. So go ahead and restart the time and then go ahead and insert the chart. Okay. Good. So there's your thing. So that's something that I learned the other day. Okay. I like the way it lays out. The, the one thing I would add to that is a title for the chart, like, you know, sales, West Region sales or something like that. Well, this is just the default chart. So, you know, this is just to get things started. So basically, whenever I'm working with charts, I spend uh, just a couple seconds creating the chart, less than a minute to create the chart. And then I spend most of the time making it pretty like adding the title i would go in and i would uh, rename the stores rename the you know fix the uh the axis and all that so here's here's the other way to do this okay so go go to the next column you mean the next spreadsheet 
What's that? You mean the next spreadsheet? The next tab, yeah, in the worksheet, yeah. No. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so this is put in your time. So what am I doing first? You're doing the same exact thing, but I'm going to show, give you a shortcut. Okay, here we go. Okay, then go into the spreadsheet. Oh, wait, delete that. you got to delete that. Now come in here and type in, just select one cell, and do a Alt F1. Alt F1. Okay, here, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going in the F keys. Oh, baby. That's a shortcut. Okay, now, now go in and do the ins. That was easy. <laughs> okay. So did you like that? Uh, that was a major, major time saver there. Yeah. Okay. The question becomes, the, let me ask, where do you find the shortcut? Alt, how do you know F Alt F1 is the shortcut for this? Is there a place, a reference guide somewhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've got a list of shortcut keys and stuff that, you know, if they pay for the class, I'll give that to them. I'll okay. show it to you in a second. So go to the next uh, tab. Okay, so... I'm going to resize this. I'm going to get rid of sales. And uh, this is exactly the same thing, except instead of, in step two, it says create a column chart from the date starting in, in A9, but put it in a new worksheet. Okay. So go ahead and create your worksheet or do the, do the time thing first. You're creating the same exact chart, but you're putting it in a new worksheet. Putting it in a new worksheet? Yeah, see the one before in this one, we created the chart and put it in the same worksheet. This one's gonna have the Oh, it's just gonna put it in a new worksheet. I got you. Okay. Got it. Alt F1 again. Okay, that puts it in the same worksheet. Now well, put that in a separate worksheet. All right. I would just do a right click in there and I would do. Well, put move, click move chart. Move chart. There it is. And put it in a new sheet and say, okay. There you go. Okay, go back to the sheet. Would that be here? Yeah. And then click and put in the time again. Okay. Cool. So now let's try it again with the shortcut. Go to the next tab. And then put in your time. And then click in the, oh yeah, delete that. And then press F11. F11? Right. Go back. Ooh, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. The one to the right. And then put in the time. Okay. 22 seconds. At least okay, two seconds two. of that was, was uh, delayed latency in, this, in the network. Oh, really? Okay, so this is the column, baseline totals and column width. So go to the next tab in the spreadsheet and then add totals to the data. Okay, and then you got a total across the bottom too. Okay, and then 
step three is making all the totals or all the columns the same width or so that all the totals are visible. Now you're not done with the time, delete the time. <laughs> you can't see the totals, right? <laughs> That's a little too big. Guys. Maybe too much. Maybe too much there. Okay, I can see it. Okay. All right. So let's do it with shortcuts again. Go to the next page. How much time was that? Oh, I don't know. I've got it totaled in another spot. So let's get rid of this. Go ahead and start your before time. Select the whole range, then Alt Equal, Control Space, and then double click, yeah. and then End Time. Okay, so that was less than a minute, right? And then this one was from 2028-41 to 30-18, so a minute and a half. So here's where I have it. Oh, here's another one I, I learned. When you wanna go to a certain tab and you have a bunch of tabs in your worksheet, if you right click right here, you can go to, you can select them all or you can see them all at once. Cool. Let me make, I'm recording this. I want to, I want to uh, invite our guests to join us for the upcoming lab, the hands-on lab. Okay, so here are the hot links. If you liked what Roger and I have been doing and you want to get more. Please come to our hands-on lab workshops in Alameda. We're going to do it on July 16th. And on Walnut Creek, we're going to do it July 17th. And this is 2014, so we're, we're certainly preparing right now. We want to have you as our guest, so just click on the link, honestintentions.com, Alameda Workshop, or honestintentions.com. Walnut Creek Workshop, and we'll look forward to having you there with us as, your, as our guests. Check it out.